Gloves. To some, they are an essential part of their daily work, treating or operating on sick patients or conducting research. Gloves are an important protective barrier to prevent contamination, infection, and maintain sanitation. Gloves are one of the most used safety products in the world. But are there any hidden dangers that come with the use of single-use gloves? This is the lived reality for tens and thousands of laborers from Malaysia, Nepal, Bangladesh, and other Asian countries toiling in glove manufacturing plants to produce one of the healthcare sector's most essential items, gloves. The pandemic caused a steep demand for personal protection equipment, like gloves, and manufacturers encountered challenges in keeping up. Because of the high demand but low supply of gloves, issues within the glove supply chain have risen. Gloves are being sourced from anywhere and often do not meet the standards of quality protective equipment. A CNN-led investigation has reported tens and thousands of counterfeited and used gloves imported and sold to the United States and other countries. We don't know how many of these gloves made it to the clinical setting. Evidence suggests that gloves can be used inappropriately in clinical practice. Improper use of non-sterile gloves can lead to cross-contamination and has been implicated in infection outbreaks. Gloves are often used when they aren't needed, put on too early, taken off too late, or not changed at critical points. We know that many adverse skin reactions, including contact dermatitis and contact urticaria, have been reported with the use of all types of gloves, and many healthcare workers suffer from these conditions. Many manufacturers have taken advantage of the low supply to the detriment of the frontliners like doctors, nurses, food handlers, and other essential workers who need good quality gloves for protection. Gloves are the highest volume disposable product purchased by the healthcare sector. Since the pandemic, the production of medical waste has dramatically increased. Issues on proper waste handling, treatment, and disposal have risen. According to the Department of Environment and Natural Resources, the Philippines has generated about 19,000 tons of medical waste from April to June 2020 alone. While some countries have laws and systems in place to safely manage their healthcare waste, the World Health Organization has reported that one in three healthcare facilities globally fails to safely manage their waste. The pandemic shined light on the inadequacy of global healthcare waste management systems. There is evident lack in capacity of waste treatment and disposal facilities to keep up with the surge of waste being produced in times of great emergency and disaster. This is when we are all needed the most. The Sustainable Procurement Index for Health is a globally recognized measurement tool for policymakers, manufacturers, suppliers, and healthcare facilities and users to improve their environmental and social sustainability record. Healthcare Without Harm also offers a criteria for suppliers and manufacturers to ensure sustainable procurement of gloves and mitigate potential harm to our planet and its people. This is about us, this is about you, and this is about our planet. Gloves have a long-lasting effect not just to the people's health, but to the environment as well. We call on our governments and the healthcare sector to secure and purchase quality and properly manufactured gloves, free from cruelty and exploitation, and develop policies for sustainable procurement to ensure that the health of our planet is protected as we protect one another. <laughs>